Hi, this is Mike from CFRE Radio in front of Lee's Palace in Toronto. In a few minutes, we'll be catching up with Vetiver. You guys have been on a, well, previously when this album was released, you guys were on a three-year hiatus. Um, what was going on in those three years? Just life. Your most bizarre tour experience ever? Well, uh, one time um, I was on tour with Davindra Banhart, and uh, we were in Brazil, and um, we uh, were... Uh, we got to go to a rehearsal of Caetano Veloso's and then followed him and his ex-wife up to a favela on top of a mountain and um, walked around the favela at like midnight with Caetano Veloso. That was pretty bizarre and special. That's about the most interesting thing that's ever happened to me. Have you ever had like a fan do something like completely... Have you ever had one of those like those experiences with like a fan that was just kind of completely out of their minds? Um, for Devendra, not for me, no. I, I, most Fediver fans are pretty uh, <laughs> grounded or they're respectful or I don't know what you want to say. I suppose the tone of the music would, would dictate the, the fans' behavior. I guess. Most people are pretty nice to me. Um, okay, so so with Complete Strangers, um, I mean, going on kind of a timeline from your first release um, all the way to Complete Strangers, um, we, we saw it a little bit in the Air and Charm with a few songs, and Complete Strangers seemed to... Um, adapt a lot more of the synthy textures, the new kind of, before it was a lot more acoustic guitar driven. Um, was this kind of an intentional thing? Was this a result of acquiring new gear? What, what, what kind of influenced the, this change in sound? Well, I mean, I've been working with the same producer for all my records, and so I think it's just um, gradual changes. All the songs on the new record have acoustic guitar on yep. them. They're, they're just um, the balance of instrumentation and the arrangements are different and suited to the songs so you know it's just the kind of experimentation that comes along with having a long uh, relationship with the people you work with and and um, yeah Tom always has new synths and new gear but to be honest a lot of that stuff is some of the same Th those instruments are on all my records they're except maybe the first one they're just tucked in or balanced differently so what are the two your one or two records right now that are really kind of keeping you going or perhaps influencing your, your work and your writing right now? Um, <clears throat> oh, well, I'm not really writing right now. I'm in the van right now. Yeah, when I'm yeah. done, I'll be writing. Um, I don't know. I like Woo a lot. There's a group yeah. from the UK called Woo that I lo really love. I've always loved them. Um, I, uh, you know, we just played with a Canadian uh, duo called Casey and Clayton uh, from Saskatchewan. And uh, I had never heard them before, but they gave me their record in um, North Carolina and I thought it was fantastic. So we've been listening to that in the van. What is the future of Vetiver? Well, after this tour, I'll start writing or finish some songs that I have and start recording another record and um, take it from there, I guess. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for doing this, Andy. Yeah, no problem.